Добрый день! Вас приветствует студия «Климатический эксперт». Давайте рассмотрим, что сегодня произошло в мире. Queensland, Australia, December 13, 2023. Tropical cyclone Jasper has hit several areas of Queensland on Wednesday, according to local officials. Tropical cyclone Jasper has now upgraded to a Category 2 cyclone and is producing damaging wind gusts that will intensify as it moves across Queensland. <laughs> Tropical cyclone Jasper is making landfall, crossing between Wujal Wujal and Pardoglas. The edge of the eye of the cyclone, which a Bureau of Meteorology expert told local radio is tens of kilometer wide, is starting to hit Wujal Wujal, an indigenous community about 150 kilometer north of Cairns. Damaging wind gusts of up to 120 km per hour are hitting the coast further south, including Cairns. The SES has received about 100 calls for help and around 15,000 homes had lost power. The cyclone, currently situated 100 km off Cairns, is producing sustained winds near the center of 95 km per hour, with winds gusts to 130 km per hour. It is predicted this could reach up to 140 km per hour. The Bureau of Meteorology earlier alerted the cyclone is slowly making landfall just south to Wujal Wujal, near Cape Tribulation in far north Queensland, with wind gusts at the center of the cyclone now reaching the predicted 140 km per hour, according to the Bureau of Meteorology. Eyewitnesses said the winds were so strong. People heard the sound of object breaking outside and the winds were so strong they could topple trees and power lines, blow off roofs of houses and blow away anything that wasn't tied down outside. The Queensland's Department of Transport and Main Roads has also implemented road closures as tropical cyclone Jasper makes landfall. Highways including the Captain Cook Highways from Port Douglas to Palm Cove and the Mosman Mon Molay Road or Rex Highway around the Rex Range have been closed to all traffic. I'm that person. 
person in the house across the road from the park. Karen's regional council's disaster dashboard had 24 road incidents listed, including flooding in Mount Garnet. A flood watch remains for the North Tropical Coast, parts of the Cape York Peninsula and Gulf Country, with the Bureau of Meteorology confirming 24-hour rainfall totals between 400 and 500 mm were possible. People are strongly advised to avoid travel during severe weather events, particularly as hazardous winds continue to pick up. The Bureau of Meteorology has confirmed tropical cyclone Jasper has intensified to a category 2 cyclone and is producing damaging wind gusts off the four North Queensland coast. Moderate flood warnings have also been issued for the Mulgrace and Russell rivers with rainfall totals of 80 to 150 mm recorded in the catchment areas in the 48 hours before 2 p.m. Wednesday. Queensland police in the Cairns region said trees and power lines were down, causing road hazards across the impact zone of tropical cyclone Jasper. Around 50,000 homes are now without power in northern Queensland as tropical cyclone Jasper approaches. More than 8,000 of the outages were in the Cairns Regional Council area and 2,000 in Douglas Shore Council. A spokesperson for Ergon Energy said crews had been in the community earlier today fixing outages in the zones affected by the cyclone, but it is now no longer safe to do so. Meanwhile, a flood watch is also a place for the North Tropical Coast, including parts of the Cape York Peninsula and Gulf Country as Tropical Cyclone Jasper makes its way to the coast. The system is forecast to bring heavy rainfall on Wednesday and into Thursday and lead to abnormally high tides. Localized flooding, including flash flooding, is likely the Bureau of Meteorology said. On the night of Monday 11 December to Tuesday 12 December, firefighters carried out approximately 10 flood-related operations in the Dordogne, France. An orange alert has been declared. Water levels in the Dordogne have been rising since Monday 11 December. Two motorists were trapped at a depth of 50 centimeters. They had to be rescued by firefighters, who carried out about 10 flood-related operations on the night from Monday to Tuesday. On the morning of December 12, there were many incidents. The Dordogne upstream, Drawn Lissel and Bezier are under orange alert, yellow alert in the lower and middle Dordogne. 